Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Friday, March 29, 2024. The year is 1865. Our main topic, American Civil War, the Appomattox Campaign opened with the Battle of Lewis's Farm, in which the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia was forced into a series of retreats that would culminate in their surrender. The Appomattox Campaign was a series of battles fought between the Union and Confederate armies in Virginia in March and April of 1865. This campaign marked the final days of the American Civil War and would ultimately lead to the surrender of the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia. The campaign opened with the Battle of Lewis's Farm, where the Union Army, led by Lt. Gen. Ulysses S. Grant, was able to dislodge the Confederate Army, led by Gen. Robert E. Lee, from their defensive lines near Petersburg and Richmond. This battle marked the beginning of a series of retreats for the Confederate Army, which would ultimately culminate in their surrender on April 9, 1865. The Appomattox Campaign was a significant event in American history, as it marked the effective end of the Civil War. The war had been fought over the issue of slavery and states' rights, with the Union seeking to preserve the unity of the country and end the institution of slavery, while the Confederacy fought to establish itself as a separate nation where slavery would be legal. The surrender of the Confederate Army signaled the end of the Confederacy and the beginning of a new era in American history. The Battle of Lewis's Farm was a crucial moment in the Appomattox Campaign, as it marked the beginning of the end for the Confederate Army. The Union victory at this battle set the stage for the final push towards Richmond and ultimately led to the surrender of Lee's army. This battle, and the subsequent surrender of the Confederate Army, had a profound impact on the course of American history, as it brought an end to the Civil War and paved the way for the Reconstruction Era. In conclusion, the Appomattox Campaign, and specifically the Battle of Lewis's Farm, was a significant event in American history. It marked the end of the Civil War and the beginning of a new era in American history. The campaign and battle had a profound impact on the course of American history, shaping the country's future and paving the way for the Reconstruction Era. The year is 1974. On the news, NASA's Mariner 10 becomes the first space probe to fly by Mercury. NASA's Mariner 10 space probe made history today by becoming the first spacecraft to fly by the planet Mercury. This monumental achievement marks a significant milestone in the exploration of our solar system and paves the way for future missions to the innermost planet. Context, Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system, has long been a mystery to scientists due to its proximity to the Sun and lack of atmospheric conditions suitable for spacecraft landing. Previous attempts to explore Mercury have been thwarted by the planet's extreme temperatures and intense radiation. Mariner 10, launched by NASA on November 3, 1973, was designed to overcome these challenges and provide valuable insights into Mercury's composition, geology, and atmosphere. The spacecraft was equipped with a range of cutting-edge instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, and radiation detectors. Historical significance, the successful flyby of Mercury by Mariner 10 represents a major breakthrough in space exploration. For the first time, scientists have obtained high-resolution images of the planet's surface, revealing unique geological features and shedding light on Mercury's enigmatic history. This mission also marks a significant step forward in NASA's ongoing quest to explore the solar system and expand our understanding of the universe. The data collected by Mariner 10 will provide a valuable foundation for future missions to Mercury and beyond, inspiring new generations of scientists and engineers to continue pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. In conclusion, the flyby of Mercury by Mariner 10 is a testament to human ingenuity and the boundless potential of space exploration. As we continue to venture further into the unknown, we can expect many more exciting discoveries that will deepen our appreciation for the beauty and complexity of our cosmos. 
Our selected holiday for today, National Vietnam War Veterans Day, United States. National Vietnam War Veterans Day is a day to honor and recognize the sacrifices made by the nearly 6 million Americans who served in the U.S. military during the Vietnam War. This holiday is observed annually on March 29 and provides an opportunity for Americans to express their gratitude to Vietnam veterans and their families for their service and sacrifices. The Vietnam War was a divisive and controversial conflict that lasted from 1959 to 1975. It was a war that had a profound impact on American society and culture, and its legacy continues to be felt today. National Vietnam War Veterans Day is a way to acknowledge the sacrifices made by those who served in the war, and to recognize the contributions they made to the country. The holiday was established in 2017, when President Donald Trump signed the Vietnam War Veterans Recognition Act. This act recognized the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War and established March 29 as a National Day of Recognition for Vietnam Veterans. National Vietnam War Veterans Day is an important holiday because it provides a chance for Americans to come together and honor the sacrifices made by Vietnam veterans. It is a day to recognize the bravery, sacrifice, and dedication of those who served in the war, and to acknowledge the struggles they faced upon their return home. The holiday also serves as a reminder of the importance of honoring and supporting all veterans, regardless of the conflicts they served in. It is a day to reflect on the sacrifices made by all veterans and their families, and to recognize the freedoms and privileges that their service has provided. In conclusion, National Vietnam War Veterans Day is a significant holiday that provides an opportunity for Americans to honor and recognize the sacrifices made by Vietnam veterans. It is a day to acknowledge the contributions they made to the country and to recognize the struggles they faced upon their return home. It is also a reminder of the importance of honoring and supporting all veterans, and a chance for Americans to come together and express their gratitude to those who have served their country. On this day, in 1990, Lyle Taylor, English footballer, was born. Lyle Taylor, a name that resonates with passion, dedication, and excellence in the world of football. Hailing from the beautiful island of Montserrat, this talented striker has made a name for himself both on the national and international stage. Born on March 29, 1990, Lyle's love for football was evident from a young age. He began his professional career with non-league side, Histon FC, before moving to Cambridge United in 2014. With his exceptional skill and determination, he quickly established himself as a key player for the club, earning the title of top scorer in the 2014-15 season. Lyle's impressive performances did not go unnoticed, and he soon caught the attention of the Montserrat national team. He made his debut for the Emerald Boys in 2015 and has since become a crucial member of the team. His commitment to the national side has seen him score crucial goals, including a hat-trick against Belize in the 2018 CONCACAF Nations League qualifiers. Lyle's success on the pitch has not only brought him personal accolades but also contributed to the growth and development of football in Montserrat. He has inspired countless young athletes to pursue their dreams, and his dedication to the sport has helped raise the profile of Montserratian football both regionally and internationally. Off the pitch, Lyle is known for his humility, kindness, and commitment to giving back to his community. He has been involved in various charitable initiatives, including a football camp for young players in Montserrat, where he shares his knowledge and experience to help nurture the next generation of footballers. In recognition of his outstanding contributions to football and his community, Lyle was awarded the prestigious Golden Boot Award in 2018. This achievement serves as a testament to his hard work, passion, and dedication to the sport he loves. In conclusion, Lyle Taylor's remarkable career and commitment to football are a shining example of what can be achieved through determination, hard work, and a love for the game. His success has inspired countless others, and his contributions to the sport and his community are truly invaluable. As he continues to excel on and off the pitch, Lyle remains a role model for aspiring footballers and a source of pride for Montserrat and the wider football community. We remember the life of Reginald Gray, Irish-French painter, born 1930, who died on this date in 2013. Reginald Gray was an accomplished Irish-French portrait artist who was born in 1930 and passed away in 2013. Throughout his career, Gray demonstrated a remarkable talent for capturing the essence and personality of his subjects through his artwork. 
He studied at the National College of Art in Dublin before moving to London, where he became a prominent figure in the School of London art movement, led by renowned artists such as Francis Bacon, Lucian Freud, and Frank Auerbach. Gray's artistic abilities were not limited to his technical skill, but also extended to his ability to connect with his subjects and bring out their unique qualities in his portraits. His portraits of famous writers, musicians, and artists, such as Samuel Beckett, Harold Pinter, Brendan Behan, Garrick Brown, Dario Sullivan, Alfred Schnitka, Ted Hughes, Rupert Everett, and Yves Saint Laurent, are testaments to his exceptional ability to capture the essence of his subjects. Gray's success was not limited to his artwork, but also extended to his numerous awards and accolades. In 1993, he had a retrospective exhibition at UNESCO Paris, and in 2006, his portrait The White Blouse won the Sandro Botticelli Prize in Florence, Italy. These achievements are a testament to his dedication, hard work, and passion for his craft. Throughout his life, Gray remained humble and kind, and his passion for art was evident in everything he did. He was a true master of his craft, and his contributions to the art world will continue to be celebrated for years to come. Despite his passing, Gray's legacy lives on through his artwork, which continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. In conclusion, Reginald Gray was an extraordinary artist who left an indelible mark on the art world. His exceptional talent, dedication, and passion for his craft are evident in every portrait he created. His legacy will continue to inspire future generations of artists, and his artwork will remain a testament to his remarkable skill and creativity. This was Today in History, an AI podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.